What's up world? My name is Sarah and welcome back to another episode of whatever it is that we're doing here. Now, lo and behold, I don't know. Isn't it funny how that works? Just random things. But I'm back. Situation. I'm that auntie sister friend that who doesn't like Fridays? <laughs> Can't go wrong. To get stuff. That and then the Luke's theme, what they become is my thing. Now, in today's video, this is one of those things that kind of happened without too much planning. So I was out and about doing other things than filming, popped into a thrift store, ended up getting a kind of fun and cute, super random haul that I wanted to share with you. So this week's video is about a random collection of fun thrift finds for the home, for the baby. Well, I guess he's a toddler. For me, just random things. Oh, before we begin, the total of all the items today was nine euros and we have one a bunch of items. Now let's start with the pieces that caught my eye immediately when I walked in and that is some fabric. This is a thick cotton, both of them are, there's two pieces, thick cotton fabric and it's funny because I was thinking about these projects in my head the other day and then I walk into the thrift store, lo and behold, I find fabric that is going to be perfect for the project in mind. Isn't it funny how that works? This is a green and white floral thick cotton like I mentioned. This is a larger piece. This is only half of it. And I'm excited to get back into sewing. I think I had a bit of a sewing overload situation, but I'm back. Now, like this fabric, the second fabric is also by the same Finnish brand. I'll put the brand up so you can see what it is. And this is also a floral -isk. It almost looks like blueberries, which is stunning. Now, personally, I kind of avoid wearing blue and this is not gonna be a wearable, but the fabric was so nice so high quality and I think for the project in mind it's gonna be perfect now like I said the other piece was a bigger one this is still relatively big this is only half of it and it's gonna work perfect for the project now what the project is is still kind of a secret so you're gonna have to follow me on my socials to find out what they become. Now, next up is a fun piece. And I know I just mentioned that I don't wear blue, but this is a dark blue, which I don't mind. And it's a home wearable situation. Let me just show you. Now, let me scoop back a little. This is a long fleece hoodie, kind of like home wear. It says Friday's my favorite. Now, I don't know if Friday is my favorite. I usually keep a mindset that the day I'm living is my favorite, but who doesn't like Fridays? So there's that. Now, the reason why I actually got this, like I said, it's a long fleece hoodie home situation, super soft. It looks like it's in really good condition. Like, I don't know if anybody's worn this? I don't know. It's a nice at home, after the shower, pullover. It has pockets somewhere down here like this on both sides. It's not the one that goes through like some hoodies have. Plus these go a little lower probably than a regular hoodie. Any hoodie. This is gonna be perfect for coming out of the shower, laying on the couch and just relaxing. I'm such a hot shower lover that it's always a struggle to get out of the shower. So I cover myself with towels and robes that I have. And I think something like this is gonna be right up my alley to throw on after I've dried myself to uh, snuggle with. Now, I wouldn't sleep in this, but it's fun and soft 
and super clean. Now this next item is, <laughs> I'm so happy I found it. It's a little Star Troopers light jacket type situation. Now the lettering on the side, it says Star Wars here. It's a little worn out, but overall the jacket itself, like the sleeves and the zipper are in great condition and the stormtroopers are in great condition as well. It doesn't have a brand. It only says Star Wars and I don't know. Star Wars in our family is a huge thing. The baby is going to indulge in our likings until he finds his own things. I wouldn't be surprised if he fell into the Star Wars fandom situation like we have. And this is just a fun, super easy, probably for maybe the springtime because it is a little big for him, but cute, useful. Star Wars, can't go wrong. I can't not hear the Darth Vader theme song every time I think of anything Star Wars. Like that, that and then the Luke's theme, they both live in my head rent free on a regular basis. There's just so many situations in life that those songs just, they're the background music of that situation. <laughs> Now for the last item, I don't know where, how it's going to live in my home, but it is this glass, I kind of want to say butter container. It has a lid, or maybe it's, this is the bottom because it has the lips. And then this would be the lid because this is just like so. This could be a treat jar. It could be for the butter, maybe some kind of dip or dips. I think this is a fun little container. I could even use it for soaps or other things in the bathroom. And if you know me, glass decor with like a vintagey vibe is my thing. Like literally, like. The stuff I have on the table right now, as part of my centerpiece decor, these are a couple of pieces from that that I have out right now. One is this. This was kindly gifted to me. And again, it's glass. It has that vintagey feel and that crystal kind of pattern. This is maybe less vintage, but again, a glass jar. Right now it doesn't have any goodies, but it is holiday season. So most likely this guy is going to be filled with some type of treat because I'm that auntie sister friend that has that kind of stuff. So like you can see glass decor items are just, I think they're just so nice and pretty and versatile. Like I said, this thrifted piece could be part of the decor. Maybe it's part of the dinner spread or snack spread. Maybe it's in the bathroom or the kitchen. I usually mix stuff like this with maybe wood or basket kind of vibes. I mean, I was super excited when I saw this. Now, this week's video wasn't maybe the most outrageous haul, but that's the whole point. Going thrifting to me is just something that I enjoy, not only to get stuff, but to just look at pieces, think about their history, and maybe, just maybe, give them a new home. When was the last time you went thrifting and what piece made you super excited? For me, it's the glass jar for sure. Now, go ahead, like this video. It always helps me out. I truly appreciate every single like, every single comment, people that follow me on Instagram. Oh, and remember to subscribe to the channel so you can find your way back for next week's video. <laughs> Take care now. It's hmm. <laughs> <laughs> good. <laughs> mm, mint tea garbage truck. <laughs> now, 